I'm alive, I swear. Oh, boy. All right, welcome, ladies and germs, to our favorite little uh, early access game, Terra Tech. I've been away for far too long without a recording. Well, without a real recording. Yeah, that was a mess. But anyway, we're back now, and we're gonna get back into it. I already have a base set up. The game's been going for a good long while. I can't remember exactly what I have going on in here, but there's a lot I need to show you, because a lot has happened. Like I said, the updates have come thick and fast. Fast being the keyboard here. So, continue! And I'll be able to tell you what our seed is, because I can't remember! Most of the original base blocks, yeah. Um, the, most of the original base blocks, like, um... Furnaces, uh... Generators, actually. Uh, the old crafters. They don't work anymore. Today we have this stuff. For instance, oh, approach the crate. All right, so maybe that's working now. Uh, I left off when I left off. There was a bug going on that said, "Oh, there's a question mark over this little crate that came down, and um, it didn't want to activate." Oh, our generator, our uh, yeah. I've been I've been hesitant to use the geothermal generators because sometimes they just don't work. Sometimes, th th when I leave, they, it, this thing pops off of the geyser I have it set up to monitor, and I have to replace it. When I, when I go away from the base for too long, it does that too. I, I don't know why, it's just a bug. It's just a bug, it's just a budge. It's just a budge, and I don't have to worry about it too much. But anyways, um, the way the crafting works now is... The furnaces here, uh, the, yeah, the, what's the name of Refinery. The refineries are shaped different now, so that, um, they take in from one side, output on the other, and they take up four blocks in here, out there. See, I can point to you with my, with my cursor because it works like that. Um, we have... These, I think these are, yeah, these these are the block crafters, and these are scrappers. They're only able to craft and or scrap uh, things from the set they come from, so the Geocorp one, the big yellow one, will only be able to take uh, Geocorp blocks, and the Geocorp crafter will only be able to... Um, craft geocore blocks which is fine for how it works <coughs> I don't know where the heck I was going with that I haven't recorded it in so long I've forgotten how to do this I've forgotten how to do this my social skills are in the toilet please give me back to the trash can where I belong so let's see here um the way I have this set up is when I'm not crafting, I have these filters set to filter nothing so they stop everything from moving through here. And that way they can't just get to the um, selling platform, I'm going to call it, where the uh, stuff is refined because the refineries go a lot faster now. They take like three items at a time and just chuck, 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 chuck. It's wonderful. You only ever really need two of them. And they go around to the delivery cannons, etc., etc. If you've been here before, you obviously know how this is going to happen. And then, when I want to craft things... Yeah, when I'm, when I'm crafting things, usually uh, the the silos, they have AI too now. 
So the the crafting thing always the crafting thing now ha works off of AI based stuff. Basically, the way it works is you select blocks to be crafted from these things. These things tell the refineries and the silos connected to them along uh, the new textured conveyor belts. Yeah, those are pretty cool now. The conveyor belts are pretty cool now. Um, they tell the silos to send stuff along and or refine them if required. Send them into these crafters and there you go. That That's how it works. And out pops your new blocks. When you have it set up like I do, uh, make sure to have your scrappers set up a good distance away from your crafters, because they will just suck up the newly crafted blocks and scrap it again. And that'll be annoying. It's happened to me before. It, I was making a new battery, and yeah, like one of these, because I couldn't get it normally. It didn't just automatically unlock. Oh yeah, and I have these uh, scrap magnets, which just magnetize blocks. So I just take it back to the base, put it in the strangely convenient device, uh, <laughs> strangely convenient unit, the SCU, and there you go. It, it just sucks it up. Hi there. Unfortunately, it seems to be a lot harder to get blocks now. I, I don't know why. Maybe they just wanted to push the uh, new crafting mechanics. And the thing about uh, silos that made me require the um, filters is the fact that without a filter, uh, these conveyor belts will not take blocks normally. The conveyor belts will not take blocks from silos automatically. You gotta have a filter to say, hey, I need that, give. And because I'm not gonna be doing anything here, filter nothing. So, oh, there's actually a mission screen here. Random GSO block. Oh, I think that's actually telling me what grade these blocks are going to be coming from. Geocorp. Ge five? Five. What? Five? Four? But Geocorp XP is only up to level three. Maybe that's not it. Maybe I'm going nuts. Alright, I'm going to try this defeat enemy ambushers things. I, I don't have the Megaton Cannons yet, so I'm not gonna, like, face roll everything I meet, which is not fun, but it's the best I can do right now. I need to close that. Um, I, I keep umming. I should stop doing that. I, I, I do it because I'm nervous, and I want to fill the empty space. I know that, but it's, it's not... It's not conducive to good entertainment, I want to say. It's it's not entertaining to sit and watch a guy go, um, uh, um, uh, for ten minutes. <laughs> God, I suck at this. But at least I'm trying. Well, I think I'm trying. See, there you go. There's this crate on the floor. Uh, these crates are basically where you get your blocks from. Instead of, like, having blocks drop from the sky out of friggin' nowhere, you get a little crate that drops from the sky. And when you go next to it, it opens up, and uh, a new block comes out. And that's how that works. But as I left off last time, when I obviously wasn't recording, this thing wasn't opening up, and that's a bug. That's a budge. Well, it's, it's not opening up because it's supposed to start a quest, but the quest won't start for some stupid reason. <sighs> Air. Air is a nice thing that I need. <coughs> so, we've got a whole bunch of enemies around. I saw a big, like, Aztec pillar off in the distance somewhere. Maybe I'll show that off to you, maybe I won't. I'll probably forget anyway. Hey, dick. Bite it. 
I was reading the patch notes for this latest patch. Um, not the patch that includes all of the new crafting stuff. That was a little while ago. That was one of the stable builds. I, I'm, I run the unstable test because I want the newest stuff. It's updated the most, and I like that. But, and I don't have mods to worry about. Hey, douche, give me all your shit. There we go. And I'm gonna let the SCU take care of all this while I worry about talking to people. But, yeah, I, I run the latest test build. Where was I? Where was I? Before I started getting into the latest test thing, God... My brain is full of fuck on these recording excursions. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fiddling with my Mio Energy capsule because I'm nervous. Uh, I'm just fidgeting. <laughs> I'm just fidgeting like I have... I, I don't want to be the next Sunday. I don't want to be the next Sunday. I hate Sunday because I, I watched one video of his. It felt like he had a gun to his head. Like, you're gonna be the next YouTuber, bitch. Get recording. And he's like, ah, ah, I think I'm being entertaining. Ah. I, I don't want to be like that. I want to be genuinely entertaining. But it's obviously not working because I'm wringing my hands here wondering what to say. Maybe I'm supposed to be talking about stuff like that. Maybe I'm supposed to be talking about life stuff. Maybe that'll keep my mind off of, Oh, I'm nervous. I haven't recorded in five years. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Unidentified heat signature. This will this will break up the tedium. Yeah, let's do something like this. Hi there. Enemy text spotted. Uh, this is thing on the radar. Hi there. Bite my... Wow, this camera is fucked. Well, pretty fucked. Oh god! I, I've been wondering this entire time, this entire recording session, whether, whether this, whether this magnet is a good idea or not. Oh, here comes a crate. Just wait for it. There we go. Hi there. Open up. Uh, oh, oh, that's what the number was for. It tells you how many blocks you get out of it. Okay, not the grade per se, but the number of blocks you get out of the thingy. All right, that's good to know. Meanwhile, I'm going to wait for this SCU to charge up and uh, sit around listening to the dead air. What is that thing? It's like stairs. It's like a stairs. A stairs. Montre. I think that's supposed to be a French name. Hmm. Pardon me for taking the obvious joke, but, um... Should have surrendered. <laughs> right, what is this? Oh, hi there. Bird of prey. What is bird of prey? Unidentified heat signature detected near... Unidentified heat signature. What is that? What is that about? Let's see here. Show them radar. Yeah. Is that gonna be the Hawkeye? Because it says Bird of Prey, and I just realized Hawk, Bird of Prey, Hawk. Ha 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 ha. Funny, funny, funny. Laugh, subscribe. Comment. <laughs> um, giant thing off in the distance that I don't want to tango with. And there's a giant purple blip on my radar. I don't know what that's supposed to be. 
What am I looking at? I don't see anybody yet. Up in the sky, what is that? A bird? A pl oh, hi there! Oh, yeah, that would be the new Hawkeye dude. Thing? Thing? Dude. Oh, what the shit? Oh my god, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight my way out of this one. Unless I am. Oh wow, these batteries are lasting a good long while, goody. Uh, tread wheels, fort armors, oh my god. Oh my god, all the blocks are just coming to me. Please no. Hawkeye license! Yes, please! Alright, so we finally have the Hawkeye license. After I left off, um, episode 4 was it? Not having found them? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so we have Master Harvester and Tech Hunter. Tech Hunter. Hunt destroy 10 enemy techs. That is going to be very easy. Very easy. That's all I, all I gotta do. Alright, kill 10 enemy techs. Alright. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up with SU, and I'll be back in a little while. Alright, so, now that we're done with all that, uh, maybe. What are you? Signal light. You know what, I'm gonna put that on here. Oh right, these are like the port and starboard lights that you can put on. If you get it on the left, you can... Let's see. Port, starboard. Alright, so you put it on the left, and it turns red. You put it on the right, and it turns green when it's night. I've, I've never been into venture. I've never been into venture. Hmm. Light, fast things never really suited me, but I can understand it. I, I like heavy, fast things, because that means I can take hits. That means I can take hits when my speed doesn't work. Big, heavy, gunny things. I really hope getting up in the eyes of this faction is fast and easy, because I, I like the aesthetic of Hawkeye PMC. Basically a paramilitary organization, they like, they like things that go boom. Conventional, modern firearms and missiles and torpedoes and shit. Giant cannon turret. There, there is a giant cannon turret. And a minigun as well, but they take up massive amounts of space on your tech. You gotta have a giant flat space on top. Or rather, just a thing, a place for it to sit. Actually, hell, that gives me some inspiration. I, I'm getting ideas, I'm getting ideas, don't you worry. Alright, so I'm just going to take a minute to, well, find out if this thing's working. Apparently it's not. What, uh, oh. Oh, that's a bug. Found a bug. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That used to be a bug as well. Um, considering we got far enough away for this thing to despawn, technically... Uh, so did the geyser rock underneath it, so I'm gonna have to move this elsewhere eventually. 
I put this here specifically because the hill that it was on had a geyser underneath it, but now it doesn't. Th this is why I never wanted to go with uh, geothermal vents, etc. It's it, because it breaks real easy. The game is not prepared to have me use them. <laughs> Alright, so hunt and destroy 10 enemy techs. I've got four done. Here. GSO Vostok. Wasn't that a rocket? Oh, that explains the name. Uh, turbine propeller, blah, blah, blah. Alright, there's a little tech over here. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Come here, little boy. There we go. Good night, Vienna. Alright, so that's... Huh? Master Harvester. Oh! 16? Huh. I get annoyed at how the uh, when I have the block magnet on the tech, the block physics doesn't exactly work correctly, so the blocks freak out inside my tech. <laughs> they get stuck in the in the thing while they're trying to get out, and it doesn't exactly work the way it's supposed to. But that's physics for you. Constantly broken. Ah, oh, yeah, see? It's on the left side, the port. So, it's red. But now, where'd it go? Oops! I ate it! <laughs> The tech ate it. Oops. Whatever. I didn't really need that light anyway, but... Eh, I wish I had it back. That's annoying. Uh, I'm assuming those would be better for, like, putting on airplanes. Because airplanes have those red and green beacons on them. Same, same as ships. And if you're like me and you can barely remember things, uh, starboard is on the right and it's green. But the easier way to remember port and starboard is port is on the left, port is four letters, and port is wine and it's red. Port, red wine, four letters. Left. Starboard, right. The opposite of port. And that's how I remember it. I had to teach myself that. I had to look it up on Google one day when I was playing From the Depths. We'll probably get one or two more videos of that sometime soon, I guess. And I wanted to put some, like, radio mass on top of my ship, and I could not remember for the life of me which... Oh, is there a tech over here? Yeah, there's a tech over here. Hi there. Is it me, or is the light, are the lights brighter? Huh. I was, I was making a, I was making a thing one day, and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this sort of realistic, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, uh, passing beacons on it. At least I think that's what they're called. And it's gonna look really cool. And it did. It ended up looking pretty decent. Because that's the way I build in From the Depths. I can't really think to build any other way like Lathrix does. Lathrix is a bay. And I will probably forever be in a shadow.
I I can't get myself out of the mindset of oh I got to do it in this like semi-realistic modern military style because that's just the way I do things. That's just the way I do things. Charge my batteries. Oh, pretty good. Pretty charged. All right, so I got one to do, one more to do, and maybe I'll get a level up in this faction. But right now I want all these crystals. These used to be really expensive, and, uh, bug. Bug. <laughs> That's a visual bug. These, these used to be, like, the most valuable mineral on the face of the planet, but now they're not. Now they're not. They did some tweaks, and... Now the economy is flipped around, so you can't just mine resources and sell them for endless amounts of profit. Now you actually have to do something with them. Grapple. That's another rock cleared for that one thing. A hundred rocks. A hundred of them. GSO Hunter, apparently. Hunt and destroy... 10 GSO techs. Well, I could probably do that. And does this mess? Hawkeye corner bracket. Hawkeye repair bubble. Good. See, I think... I think the Hawkeye style is conducive to building things an even width. Because the repair bubble is too wide. It's too wide, or too long, as you want to put it. I don't know how well it works, because I haven't tried too much of uh, Hawkeye stuff other than in the R&D test chamber. In the test chamber... But for reals, I don't have much experience with it. I am hoping to get a lot of such. Because I'm starting to record a little bit more now. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully this won't be the last in a, another long while. But of course my work ethic is appalling. So, who knows. What? What? There's just a little trekker wheel on my... <laughs> Alright, whatever. I can take that. Honestly, I can't wait until I get the giant cannons. From any tech, really. I can't wait till I get the giant megaton cannons. Because then I can just make a tech that does not give a shit. Does not give any shits. That's uh, a Geocorp thing, not a GSO. Or does it technically count as GSO? No, it does not. It had the GSO cab, I don't get it. It had the GSO cab, but it was mostly Geocorp parts. Mm, gotta keep that in mind. Alright, that's for a later thing. Um, probably gonna pull into the station, and that's gonna be it for now, because I've been going for a good long while, and... Eh. I feel like this is probably getting boring. But yeah. TerraTech is going in a good direction. I like where this is going. I like the new crafting mechanics. It actually made me craft things for once instead of just sitting around on my endless fountain of money. Get over there, thank you. I can't remember what game it was, but I remember having a part be stuck in a tech. I'm pretty sure it was this game, but I remember having a part stuck in a tech, and it was just wiggling so super no wait that was that was space engineers a part broke off one of my ships or i was trying to refit a ship i think it was a miner and i deleted a block underneath a gyroscope 
that was the only part hanging it on, and those things are super heavy, so the thing started freaking out and wriggling around and destroying the insides of the thing. And I got no resources off of the blocks that gyroscope broke. And that sucked. That sucked a lot. And for future reference, I don't I don't really play Space Engineers because I don't know, it just seems kind of boring to me. At least it's boring without other people to play it with. And I don't have any friends, so... Yeah. Go off and sell things. Go and sell! And that's where I'm going to leave it off. Go and sell. How about... Even better, go off and stay fractally. Oh, and uh, before I forget, the seed is too many voxel games. Though that was from a previous build, so I don't know how well it'll hold up.